Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode. I just got a new package from shopcrawls.com. Let me show you exactly what we have today. And with that in mind, today's video is sponsored by 10,000 Fish. All right, I'm pretty excited to see exactly what I've ordered. <laughs> if that makes any sense, there we go. Ah, yes, the secret weapon, ladies and gentlemen. We have here the 10,000 Fish Shimmer Swimmer by 10,000 Fish. 10,000 Fish is owned by Catch Co, which is owned by Shop Carl's, Mystery Tackle Box, all one company under one umbrella. It's a great lure company that I highly recommend, especially this Shimmer Swimmer right here. It's been absolutely deadly once again, and I'm able to inject that Pro Cure right in the butt right here. And man, it is so, so effective with the strobe strips right here. I mean, it, you might think it's a marketing gimmick, but honestly, it's not. It does glimmer if we get some light shine in our dirty waters to reflect and the movement on this has been absolutely killer too man it's such a great company great lure i highly recommend it. i stocked up i recommend you stock up if you're a shop carl's member you get 30 percent off this and the link is in the description box below check it out guys i highly recommend it let's see if we can catch some fish tomorrow with these lures Let's target this for a minute. 15 feet down. Let's see if we have any luck. Like I said, they're gonna be way at the bottom. 48 degree water temp. It's pretty darn cold, man. All right, what I'm doing is I'm targeting about 14, 15 feet deep. I got a heavier jig weight and I got a smaller paddle tail profile. What I'm doing is I'm throwing it right at this reef, this first reef, giving it about seven to 10 second drop, making sure it gets all the way down to the bottom because when it's winter time, you want to target that mud, the, the deep bottoms, the reefs, the structure, structure down there. That's where they're going to be hanging out in this cold water temp. And hopefully, hopefully they are there. And if they are there, I'm able to entice them to bite it. A quick, simple mill. Uh oh, got thumped. Might have been mullet right there. So that's good, finding the bait. Uh oh, yeah, I'm getting thumped right here. Okay. They might be right here. Try that again. It is getting deeper, so we are finding a little bit of drop. They are, they're nicking at it. Let's try that again. Right now, fish are gonna be very, very lethargic, very, and very cold. So you just gotta have to throw it in their face and kind of slow roll it and let them eat it. They're not gonna strike it like they usually do in the summer. That was, yeah, that was a bite. That was a nice bite right there. I mean, it could have been oyster. I'm not sure. Let's try that again. When you know you when you know you might get hung up, is when you know you're hitting the ground. There we go. That's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Uh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's gonna be a red. I knew it. He was like just god they're like yeah you can't i mean they're not hitting it they're not striking it hard like you normally feel yeah, he's gonna be a decent fish yeah nice red that's what i'm talking about i knew they're gonna be here in the deep very cold water <laughs> looking for the opportunistic bite come on here buddy it's so cold yeah all right, ladies and gentlemen, first nice donkey of the morning. Look at that, cold water donkey. Man, he is cold. <laughs> Caught him way down there in that mud, just as I suspected there are down there. Look at that beautiful fish right here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna let him go, first keeper today. After this, we'll catch another one. But yeah, solid donkey. I'll say about 23, 23 and a half incher. Whoo, on the shimmer swimmer too. Small little palatel with a heavier weight gets down there yeah he's down there he smells like that stinky mud in texas <laughs> all right my man i appreciate you thank you so much i'll let you go you swim off strong now okay 
All right, my man. Swim off strong. So stiff. There he goes. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, first fish of the day. Let's see if we can catch a couple more and call it a day and get home and eat some hot ramen. <laughs> the shimmer swimmer on a quarter ounce jig head. Caught him on the Shimano SLX MGL from Japan. The old 18 Arius light action rod. Very nice setup right here. Like I said, once again, if you're interested in any of these products I'm using today, check out the description box below. All right, let's load up with some more Pro Cure shrimp stink into buttocks. Just like that. All right, let's see if we can target some more fish in this reef right here. So basically what I did, like, once again, is I let it drop all the way down towards the bottom and just slow twitch it, slow retrieve, double twitch, retrieve really slow because you got to let, you got to give them the chance to catch up to the lure, especially if you're using a high gear ratio like I use. Oyster right here. Just good to note. Oh, there we go. Another bite. Yeah, that felt good. Got him way down there. Oh, that's gonna be a big dude. It's gonna be a big red. Look at that. <laughs> Dang, he hit that really hard. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, people. Slow fishing and winter fishing. Uh, he might not be as big as I thought he would be, but maybe I'm wrong. He said in the winter time they fight so differently. So, so differently. Uh. <laughs> My God. Yeah, he's gonna be a big dude. My God, look at that. Freaking bowed up rod. <laughs> dude. You would think you would caught like a big patch of oyster. This guy is no give. My God. <laughs> Man. All right, let's give him some drag and break our line. Whoo, it's light action. Look at that. Look at that bend, folks. Man, if you want a good rod, don't freaking hesitate to purchase an old 18. Look at that. He bring up big donkeys on this light action tackle. Man, I'm telling you what. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> so much fun fighting them for sure. Oh, dude. We almost got him up. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be a, a good redfish. Hoo wee. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Brother. Come on, brother. Cut me some slack, man. I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> oh my gosh, that rod bend is crazy. He's gonna be a mid slaughter, upper slot. For sure. Dang, that's a donkey. That's a donkey, people. Whew, he's gonna be too big for me to freaking keep, but golly, what a donkey. Come on in here, buddy. Come on in here, brother. That's a upper slot red, probably maybe right at 28 inches. Uh, a baby bull. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you what, this is a freaking tank. Goodness gracious, that's a big freaking redfish. My God, he is huge. Dude, how much do you weigh, my friend? How much do you weigh? I'm thinking 10 pounds plus. Oh my gosh, 11 and a half pound redfish. That's for sure a bull red. Oh my God, look how thick this guy is. Caught him way down there in that reef. Real bottom fishing, slow fishing. Oh my God, what a freaking satisfying catch. I love fishing, man. Now I do love hunting too. I love the outdoors, but fishing, Hoo wee to catch big dudes like that. That's what I'm talking about, people. On that shimmer swimmer. God, this thing is freaking awesome, man. All right, let's just see how big you are. I'm thinking 30 inches, 30 and a half inch. Look at that. I told you, 30 and a half inch. You go out there and make babies, all right? Here, thank you for the fight, cold weather fight. I bet you didn't imagine that when you woke up, huh? <laughs> There she goes, man. She just left. I forgot to film it, but so stoked, man. Able to catch 
two donkeys, one being a 30 and a half inch young bull, man. I am so stoked. Let's even catch one more and call it a day, man. I'm having too much fun. All right, I want to catch some trout. Hopefully we can catch one trout and that'd be end of, the end of it. <laughs> but it's harder to catch trout, I think, in my opinion, with this cold weather. I mean, I could be wrong. You guys comment below if I'm wrong or not. But uh, I'm not a really good speckled trout uh, catcher, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I'm open about that. Redfish is my forte. Flounder, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty average. Speckled trout, I mean, I'm still learning the ins and out of that of that creature because it has a niche mark on its own man there's there's just a cult following with speckled trout i just need to figure them out but do they do they like to hang out in this cold bottom water just like the redfish comment below let me know i i assume they do they they need warmth too with mud they like structure uh i knew i do know they are more affected by salinity levels so i don't know comment below guys let me know so simple to rig up just make sure you find where the the hook's gonna go through and you just put it the right right in. Slip it right in the slot. Just like that. Super easy. I like to have the, the hook a little bit more exposed, almost to an angle, so it gives a better um, gives a better advantage. Blood and the hemorrhoids. There we go, another one. No, no, you might be at the lower in slot. He's pulling. Yeah, he's gonna be another slot. I lied. These winter fish, man, they're just so hard to judge when they hit that lure. <laughs> oh gosh, so much fun. Oh yeah, nice fish. He's gonna be a, a keeper one. I think we'll probably keep this guy, cook him up. Nice fish. I mean, they feel like lightweights compared to that 30 incher. <laughs> man, you inhaled that one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, another solid red. This one is going to be our keeper for today. We're going to mean we're going to take home. Yeah, he's good table fare. Dang, look at that red fish. Yeah, I mean, smaller, probably right at 21 inches. We will measure him just in case. But such a light fighter compared to that 30 incher, don't you think? I mean, this guy is a beautiful fish. He, he held that 10,000 swimmer shimmer in his mouth. Hit it really good, though, surprisingly for winter. But very, very happy. Let's get him on a stringer and get on out of here. Limit a redfish within 30 minutes. I can't ask for anything better. Thank you so much to sponsor the video. 10,000 fish, Shop Carl's Catch Co, one umbrella, same company. If you're interested, like I said, if you're interested in any of the lures or tackle, gear, whatever the case may be on this video, everything's linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I consider you my hardcore subscribers or hardcore viewers rather. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Just hit it and make sure you hit that bell notification to be notified. But thank you so much. I love every single one of you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>